And of course, we have to finish painting the box. This was a cheese cream given to us by our Uncle Michael a long time ago. My dad tried to throw it away a bunch of times, and I pulled it off the heap. I'm like, no, no, I'm going to do something with this. Uh, letting the painting spill over onto the side because it is an object. It's a box, you know, that's going to be hanging on a gallery wall or sitting on a table. And, you know, it's kind of lame to have it just be the plain sides of the box. I also usually do the bottom. And uh, I probably will at some point with this, with just a light coating of the, the crackle material. Six weeks of painting at it, you know, a few minutes every day. I call it accretion. The layers of, of material build up over time. Uh, that's just a wad of uh, plasticine uh, modeling clay that I that I wadded in there, thinking that it was going to be this uh, crater for the Mark's tank. There it is, sort of drawn. Uh, had not even begun doing any drawing or modeling here on the other side. Uh, when the idea to switch to this Heavy Rescue 411 parody came up, the uh, background just painted it enough to suggest a, a, a location. It takes months to decide sometimes uh, exactly which toy pieces should go in. This one I'm actually sort of going about it in, in a reverse order. Usually I, I paint the box first and then find the toy piece that would help it tell some sort of a story. In this case, I started with, with, with the toy piece idea with the accident scene. And, uh, the sky needs to be painted. There needs to be some sort of hills. I'd like to maybe have a suggestion of Jupiter. Where are we, by the way? Yeah, we're on Ganymede. So I'd like to have Jupiter sort of up there or Eo or one of the other moons that's uh, visible and work the terrain and the range of materials that I would use. All my paints are by Goldens. I only use acrylics by Goldens right now, um, along with the substances like plasticine that get, then gets coated with the acrylics. But I'll probably use more crackle paste, matte medium gel, this marvelous uh, heavy gel matte, and then jars of pastes and things that I can sort of use to help the background sort of spill over onto the floor add add some more substance to the background now the material i like using a lot is neo color 2 karen dash watercolor crayons in fact some of my paintings have more uh, watercolor crayon in it than they do acrylic paints uh, mixed together or glaze them with things like clear tar gel. It's just as good as, as an acrylic. It's essentially pastel in a binder that acts like a crayon sort of marks. That's the watercolor crayon there. And seal it in place with layers of micaceous iron oxide for that starfield look. And then shellac the background over with, with, with clear tar gel with an almost visible layer of a glassy surface. Using things like the iridescent colors to achieve little optical effects here and there. I imagine I'd be finished with it in, in August. Having a show of this stuff somewhere at some point. Miles and miles and miles. 